This is the one you want to try. So here we have the shiitake. This is the board that I've been most excited about. The aim of this board was to make a mid-length shape board or a, a long fish, but keep, a, keep the performance built into the board. I don't want this thing to just be straight down the line and not be able to turn. We've got a uh, beak nose up front blending into a down rail. Having that low rail really allows me to engage into turns and push it hard without being stuck and having too much fun. We have a slight roll V through the entry. Because of the uh, flat nose rocker, you wanna keep this entry rolled. Helps cut through the chop and stop any catching. We blend that into single concave under the chest, blending into a double concave, starting from about third up the board, into a concave V running out the tail. Um, this fin setup really uh, is the forgotten setup. It's a twin fin with two canard fins on the side. These fins are splayed out at a, a more aggressive angle to your main twins. They help initiate your turn. They break the water before it hits the main fin and basically what it does is creates a hell of a lot more speed. And the way that it turns, it almost pivots tighter and makes, say like a, a top turn, makes it more effortless and easy. Everyone that's surfed this so far has been blown away by the amount of performance it has. I've also just made one for my team rider, Robbie Rickard, for a trip to the Mentawise. He surfed exact same fin setup as this, the, the Twinser. Surfed it in some pumping conditions as well. And then I've surfed it in anything from waist high Sano. And then I've surfed it in some really good hollow beach break conditions just allows that early entry you can surf it in the hollow stuff just get behind the section and backdoor it and the things it's like cheating it's a super fun board this is going to be a model that's going to stick around for a long time